What had happened was I went to my Nana's for the break and her internet had been disconnected and I couldn't ask neighbors because I don't know them and now I have to watch six videos and respond to all six videos and I know I'm already the least favorite on the channel and I have the least amount of subscribers and I've been slacking and I'm getting a few slaps on the wrist but please don't kick me off the channel I like you guys I'm sorry it won't happen again I'm sorry and now I shall watch six videos and respond see you in a bit the first question is what's your favorite thing you got for Christmas and I don't know if that means for this Christmas or just in general but this Christmas I just got money and with that money I went shopping and I bought a bunch of stuff like sweaters like this and pants like this and beanies like this which I'll show you guys all that stuff later but what I really wanted was the complete works of Shakespeare but um, that would take weeks to get here so I decided that I would buy that later and I just bought myself a copy of The Tempest just to read on the bus what do you want to do with your life? <laughs> it's a weird question to ask to someone who thrives on the ambiguity of this collab channel <laughs> and I'm sorry about that but yes I do like um, unplanned things because the things I plan never end up working out the way I wanted to and my heart gets broken and I become very very sad but this is something that I thought about a lot a lot about when I was like 17 18 years old and it broke my heart and I couldn't do the things I wanted to do but what I learned and what I found out was that um, you're never too old to do anything and now I'm getting all these opportunities that I wouldn't otherwise have had had I uh, continued to study but it's not a problem for my family, it's not a problem for me. I can always go back and do whatever I want. Um, so to anyone that's like having trouble coming to terms with what you guys want to do, I just want to say that I know it's a really, really hard decision to make. But you never know what the future has in store for you. That's the most cliche thing I've ever said on YouTube. But it's true. And, um... I hope you guys do what you guys want to do. I know Daisy wants to become a doctor, and I completely support that. And I hope that you... Okay, this is becoming cheesy. Whatever, forget it. One song you want everyone to hear, and that is Hella Buster by Vox Codex. That has been on YouTube for the past eight months, and it's only had 5,000 views. Now, I think everyone should hear this song, and I'm going to link it. It's absolutely fantastic, and it's like nothing you've ever heard before. First question for this week is what's your favorite book? And one of my favorite books is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. It's probably got to do with the fact that I was really young when I first read it and it just rekindles that memory every time I read it. Plus there's uh, this thing, I don't really know how to put my finger on it, but it's the way that Harper Lee has written the book and every last line of every chapter always gives me the tingles. And I ha really haven't had that with any other book. Second question is um, if you could change one thing about the society that you live in and the particular society that I live in at the moment has this fixed perception of beauty and I'm going to stay biased and I'm not going to say whether that's good or bad but I notice the difference. I notice this difference when the way that people treat me and the way that people look at me when I get on the bus when I'm sweaty and disgusting and I've just been working out versus the way that people treat me when I get on the bus when I'm presentable and clean and polished and pretty and it's uh i don't know if they, people do it on purpose or people do it i don't think they do it on purpose i don't think they're aware that they're doing it but they treat me differently they treat me they're more lenient when i'm presentable they're <laughs> way more willing to pay for my tickets and way more willing to help me out and it's kind of it's really really sad that people and i'm the same person it's just a different day and i look differently that day Yet people treat me completely different. And that's the sad truth. Last question is, if you were stranded on a desert island, which three items would you bring? And I absolutely hate this question because there's no right answer. There's no answer that I could figure out that makes complete sense in my head. And I would say this and this and this and be happy with that answer. But one of the things I would bring is my sewing machine. And I know, given the circumstances, I would have no fabrics to sew. But I would ha like to have it there for... Um, psychological purposes maybe to keep me from you know falling apart maybe to keep me from having a mental breakdown maybe if I see something that I recognize and that I uh, connect with every day that would help me out it would I uh, nobody else thinks about this stuff um, second thing I would bring is definitely definitely sunblock I would definitely bring sunblock because I would just die under the sun 
And um, third thing, I don't know, maybe a collection of classical music. Like, I don't know, I just saw this from the corner of my eye and I decided that would be a good idea. Let's just throw that in there. Um, I hope you like my answers. I know this has been a very, very long video and it's going to take me hours to upload and I'm sorry about that. But thank you, Sophie, Nora, and Daisy, and I will see our guest tomorrow. Goodbye!